If you watch cable TV, then you've definitely seen this girl. To most of America, she is Flo from Progressive, the overly excited insurance nerd. Her exaggerated, goofy personality and witty humor have made her a star in the commercial world, but it wasn't always like that. At one point, Progressive was failing to create a good brand image, and it was so bad that they were being mistaken with Progressive Soup. So, how did Progressive turn its brand around and create one of the most popular ad campaigns of all time? Well, we have to start with where Flo came from, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Stephanie Courtney. She's the actor behind the iconic insurance geek, but to land the job, she had to work through a decade of adversity and hear no from hundreds of auditions to finally get this part. Growing up, Stephanie participated in all of her school plays. She would show up to rehearsals that she wasn't even supposed to be at, but she did it because she loved everything about it. Stephanie continued to be in local plays while attending Brittenham University in New York. A friend helped her get into the neighborhood playhouse, which was also in New York. There, she studied to be an actor for two years while taking jobs to get by. She was a waitress, got fired, then a grocery store worker, then a receptionist at Smith Barney. Stephanie was miserable. She said, I would go to school from nine to five and then I'd walk up four blocks and I'd answer night calls for the CEO. It was just me in this big empty office building from six to 11. They'd give you cat money to go home and I'd pocket it and just walk. She continued auditioning around New York, but her lack of representation in the industry made it nearly impossible possible to land anything. She eventually got her first acting job in 1994 with TheaterWorks USA, where she would perform for children. She did a tour around the USA with TheaterWorks and got paid better, but was still struggling. Stephanie decided to challenge her creativity and wrote a play with her sister called Those Country Girls, which Stephanie herself claims that it wasn't good, but it was a good experience and taught her that you meet people wherever you go. In 1996, Stephanie got into stand-up comedy after a friend invited her to a comedy club. She didn't know it at the time, but this move was going to get her a big break. Stephanie's witty humor drew the attention of Naomi Odenkirk, who, after one of Stephanie's shows, approached her and asked Stephanie to move to LA, where she could be represented by Naomi. At the time, Stephanie was going through hell and back so she jumped at the offer. LA would treat Stephanie very nicely. She realized how many opportunities there were on the West Coast and started auditioning like crazy. She was still being rejected a lot, but every no she received was a learning experience. And as you may have guessed, her pockets were still drier than the Sahara. Stephanie said, making money was always tough and commercials are hard. I would book maybe under one commercial a year, just enough that I would keep auditioning. Her first national commercial was a Bud Light commercial in 1999 which was played during the Super Bowl. Although having a very minor part in the commercial, Stephanie felt as if she made it. She quit all of her jobs she was doing, then six months later asked for all of them back. Despite that embarrassment, she continued to do commercials for big names like McDonald's, Quaker Oats, Skittles, Toyota, and Wienerschnitzel? I think that's how you say it, hopefully, I don't know. She was also getting to the TV world, landing roles in shows like Mad Men and The Comeback. However, all of these small roles in shows and commercials led her to the audition that would change your life forever. The audition I'm talking about is progressive, of course. Who would have thought? Stephanie had no clue what the role looked like. She based her personality and her audition from her mom, Jane Courtney, which seemed to resonate well with the marketing people at Progressive. Stephanie made it through all the callbacks and received a phone call that she got the job. She shot her first commercial with Progressive, of course, as the character Flo, in 2007. That commercial aired on January 14th, 2008, which featured Flo in an all-white superstore. A customer says, wow, impressed with all the extras that come with the savings of more than $350. Flo echoes his enthusiasm and says, wow, I say it louder. All at no extra charge. Wow. Wow, I know, I say it louder. Have a great day. And those five impromptu words caught the eyes of Jeff Charney, Progressive's chief marketing expert. He said, when she said that, we realized that she had something special. She was a character with real character. That character was completely unplanned, but we saw it and we jumped on it. She became the center of this ad sitcom. It took us a couple of spots, but we started to move the focus on her. The first two years of the campaign took place exclusively inside of Progressive 
Joseph's fictional superstore during Flo's never-ending shift. But for those working on the campaign, the biggest move was taking Flo out into the real world. People were obsessed with Flo's fictional life, and they wanted to follow her wherever she went. Her first venture out of the superstore was in a dream sequence of a customer and avid doorsman called Best Day. The reaction to the commercial convinced Charney and his team that they were on the right track. Over the next decade, Stephanie would continue to be the star and brand icon of Progressive and still be featured in commercials to this day. Iconic brand mascots are in many ways a hallmark of a bygone era. Aside from breakfast cereal, the lifespans of these characters are short to non-existent but Flo is an outlier. In the decade since her debut, Progressive's business has more than doubled from $13.6 billion in 2008 to nearly $30 billion today. She also conquered the steep task of making insurance seem fun to buy. And I think it's safe to say that without Stephanie Courtney and her character Flo, Progressive would continue to be mistaken for Progressive Soup to this day. Hi, Flo here. I just wanted to say a great big thank you to all my Facebook friends. I like you too. I like you so much I want to shout it from a mountain, a Facebook mountain of millions of friends. <laughs> You're a little late. Thank you.